Oh. Good day, YouTube. Honey Monster, Rhino. We have a stout for the Honey Monster because the Honey Monster loves his stouts. I fucking love stouts. I never get to fucking drink them because I have to drink the fucking bullshit lager. We oh, have a stout from our good friends at the Railway City Brewing Company in St. Thomas, Ontario, Canada. We have the Black Coal Stout for all the naughty boys and girls. Uh, we did this once before. The cartoon reviewed it with me. I might splice in some of that review. I couldn't use it. There was too much stupidity in the background. Uh, <laughs> As opposed to the normal stuff. Well, no, it, it was it was further into the shit show than our usual reviews. Uh, so 6.5% alcohol. This is best before March 11th, so I thought we had to get this done quick. Nice, all right. Fucking love stouts. Love them. When people make beer, they should just make stouts. Like any other beer is stupid. So this is the uh, second batch of stout. I know they made a third batch. I was talking to one of the guys that works there who watches our reviews. He said they had to make a third batch, and they didn't think they had enough still. So, it looks like a stout. It's not as it's not as dark as I really like. It has that brown hue to it. But you know what? It still looks good. It looks like it should. Nice head. Yeah, it pours a little light um, for me. The head's a little light, too. A lot of bubbles. Which, normally with a stout, you're not yeah, going to get a lot it, of bubbles. Uh, normally with a stout, it's going to be nice and thick. Oh, and... oh man. But smell-wise, oh, it smells so good. Chocolate, caramel, toffee, coffee—it's it, all there. Everything you want to have in a stout is on the nose. Oh, smells like a—it smells like an actual fucking stout, not this bullshit that we normally drink. Okay. So here's my twofold thing: it tastes good, but it's way too light for a stout. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I, I I gotta tell you right now that like just drinking it, you you get the flavor on the front end, but immediately it dies. It dies and it becomes a very light, uh, a very light taste, which is kind of disappointing because when you want a stout, you want that thick, long lasting flavor that goes into a stout. And for how this smells, you would think that there would be so much more to it. It smells amazing. It does taste amazing. It's just. The mouthfeel is is the downgrade on this. It feels more like a dark ale, a really good dark ale than a stout. Yeah. What I would say this really is would be a great introduction to a stout. For somebody who's never had a stout or has only drank a Guinness and been like, you know what, I don't like stouts, <laughs> this would be a great thing to start them off with. Yeah, Guinness um, sucks. Chocolate is there. Coffee is there. Toffee's there. There's a bit of caramel. Nice maltiness. The background has some nice hops. But it's very light. Yeah, it, it's hard. You know what? All those things you said are, like, relatively true on the front end. As soon as you drink it, that taste hits you. But then immediately it dies out, and it becomes extremely light. You lose the flavor almost immediately. And I really hate that in a stout. Like, I want the stout to be a long-lasting flavor. That's why I'm drinking I stout. Do get, I drink it for a fucking strong-ass flavor. I do get the coffee and a little bit of the chocolate lasting through, but not, not as long as you'd like. But the other flavors, yes, they die out almost immediately. But yeah, they're there. I just, I just, I, I get the flavors, but I just, I, I, unlike you, I don't get it the long lasting. I get the immediate like, it hits and then it's done, and that's that's kind of disappointing because stouts, stouts just you, you gotta have a certain like strength to them, and when you have a light stout like this. It's extremely disappointing. Now, on and the plus side to this light stout, it's 6.5% alcohol, but it feels like it's like a 4. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah probably like a 4 or 5. It, it seems like it's a very light... Like, if, if, if Guinness was to make a light beer, this, I think, would be, like, this, this similar to it. I, I don't know. You know that Hockley stuff that we bought from the liquor store? That Hockley stuff, that is, that is the epitome of, like, the lightest stout I've ever had. And this is a little stronger than that. But I'm I'm really disappointed, Chad. I I gotta tell you, I, I'm really disappointed in the fact that it it's light and like that's not how a stout should be. If you're gonna make a stout, make a stout full flavor. This is making this is like making like I don't know like fat free lard cakes. It's just it doesn't make any sense. Fat free lard cakes. It doesn't make any sense. You want the full flavor. <laughs> You know, it, it's like many of those things where they, they throw it out there and they say it tastes the same, but you can taste the difference, and this is one of those things where you can taste the difference. I'm very disappointed. I, I'm not going to say I hate Does it. Does anyone else want to try a sip of this? Yes, please. 
See, for me, I'm gonna say it is full flavored. It's just it's very light bodied. Uh, yeah, that's my biggest. Pr that's my only complaint is the light body. But the light body really takes away from the flavor. That's what you want in a stout, right? You want in a stout. You want that full body. That full body is part of the taste. Okay, because I'm really choosy with stouts. This is a very, v extremely mild yeah. stout. Yeah. And it goes well. If you don't like stouts and you want to try That's some out, I'm this saying. is like an entry it's, level it would be for a sure. Great entry level stout. Oh yeah, it's totally. It's got a great smell. It, it is. Like, it's good. I'm I'm gonna give this As a because smell? because it's a oh, good beer. Wonderful. But. I'm gonna do what I do sometimes, the two point reviews as a stout and as a beer. As a beer, I'd give it an eight five. It's actually a really good beer. As a stout, I'd probably give it a seven. I would br buy it to introduce somebody to it, but I wouldn't buy it normally for myself. But if I was just out for a beer, this is a great beer, I'd drink it. If I was out for a stout, I might buy it, but I'd probably pick something else. I, I don't know. This just doesn't have the follow-through to it. Like, as a beer, it's it's a decent beer, and it's got a great smell. Don't get me wrong. It's a fantastic smell, but, like, that's that's part of the disappointment, then, is the fact that it's got this great smell, then you drink it, and it's a total letdown. You get a little bit of the flavor, but you just don't get enough. And I feel that, like, really, maybe they watered it down. Maybe they're trying to get too many batches out of it, but... Dude, it's just like, not enough. It, like, it's not enough for me. And I really love stouts, and I really want a strong goddamn stout. I want something that's going to stay all afternoon. It's going to make me pancakes in the morning. You know, that's what I want. I want something that's going to be there for me in my emotional depravity. I, I want it to be allowed to cry on a shoulder. And I'm not getting that with this. I'm getting a fair weather. I'm getting a fair weather stout. And as it is with a Fairweather Stout, yeah, sure, top me up. You know, it's a, it's basically a light beer at this point. You know, a, a, as it is, I just, I don't know. I, it, it's in the middle, and unfortunately it does too many things wrong for me to give it a good good mark. And with it give too many things wrong, I'm going to give it a 5. Unfortunately, I'm going to give it a 5. That's the best I can do. It does too many things wrong. It's got a really great smell, but that only leads to the letdown when you drink it.